I just developed this completely open source and free mobile application template that can help you to launch applications not only for Android but for iPhone as well. So this AI mobile app template will save you hundreds of hours in development and you can create any sort of apps not just for Android phone but for iPhone as well with just one single source code. So first let's just explore all of the features that this template has. So I've just turned on a screen recorder and I'm going to show you the demo. First of all, let me just click on this Flutter template icon and now you can see nice looking loading page. And now this is our onboarding screen. You can see there is this image placeholder. You can add your own images in this image placeholder and you can see this onboarding screen is just like any other professional application. I'll guide you in a second that how you can customize this app because we are going to use AI code editor to customize this app. So that's why you don't have to worry about anything. You can just like take a screenshot of any of these screens and then you can just like provide that to your AI code editor and then ask it to fully customize that certain screen. So there is a skip button as well. Users can easily click on that skip button and then skip these onboarding screens. By the way, this onboarding screen will only show when user will open it for the first time. So then you can simply just click on next and then again next. And now this is our main home screen. So I have integrated Quen3 model for AI functionalities. So I just like built a basic AI chatbot. So let me just ask it to tell me a joke. Press enter and now Quen3 will tell us a joke. Let's just see how good or bad that joke is going to be. So why was the computer cold? It was left. It left its windows open. Okay, fine. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, good joke. So then we have got these navigation menus. There is this help section. Then there is this premium section. Inside premium section, you can see there is this monthly subscription. By the way, all of this is already integrated. I'll guide you in a minute that how you can like make this functional and customize it. And then how you can set up everything and then publish your own app using this template. Then there is this setting tab that has all of these standard settings in here. And then there is this side menu as well. So now let's just test its authentication system. I have already integrated the authentication system using Firebase. So you can just go to account section from here and now you can simply just click on this sign in continue with Google. So you can simply just press on that. So now you can see my account is signed in. I can see my account name, display name and email address as well. So now I can simply just maybe sign out or delete account or like maybe customize any settings in here. So these are the overall features that this app template has. It has a fully functional authentication system. It has a fully functional in-app purchasing system. Then it has AI integrated already through open Open router and also it has the onboarding screens app settings and a lot of other functionalities so all of that is developed in this template if you remember i already released an initial version of this template maybe i think a couple of months ago but this is the version 2 of this template so i just added a lot of features a lot of problems that initially users are facing so i just like fixed those issues and then now launching this version how you can set up this template download on your computer and then set up everything i'll guide you in a minute but before that please subscribe to this youtube channel and click on like button as well and if you have an app idea and you want us to develop that app for you you can just contact on this email address which is given here just keep in mind you should have good enough i usually don't respond to one of the non-serious inquiries so just make sure that you have a proper project plan and proper budget for that project so to access this app template just go to mobile apps dot capital slash flutter template i'll provide a link in description and then you can simply just click on this cloned github repository so you can simply just click on that and it will take you to this github repository and in here you can access the source code of this app template there's a very detailed documentation for this project on this github repository so you can just like go through it or just follow this video and i'll guide you that how you can use this template and then use ai and then provide ai with this documentation and then you can just like fully customize this template so first of all let me just share some details about this template as you know this is a flutter template that means you can develop applications for not only android but ios as well so flutter is a cross-platform framework by google and you can publish your flutter applications not only for android and ios but for web and desktop as well then we are using fire Firebase. So Firebase, as you know, is another product by Google that we use to develop backend for our mobile application. I'll guide you in a second that how you can set up Firebase and everything in our app. Also for AI, we are using Open Router and particularly we are using Quen3 model from Open Router. So if you just go to openrouter.ai and from here you can find this Quen3 model. This is kind of like cheapest model for AI. You don't need to integrate Anthropic Cloud or maybe like OpenAI as any model because all of those models are super expensive, but I believe for the kind of app that you want to develop, I think Quen3 is good enough. For in-app purchasing, we are using RevenueCat. RevenueCat is a third-party platform, which is absolutely free to use. They don't charge you anything. In fact, they only charge 1% fee after your monthly recurring revenue increases to $2,500, which is by the time your app reaches there, you'll already be rich. Yeah. So it will only charge you 1% for any months where your revenue increases $2.5,000. So let's suppose if your app crosses $5,000 per month, revenue cat will only charge you $50. 
so i think it's a good deal so this tech stack that we're using i carefully consider like all other options as well so this was the easiest and most convenient and absolutely free way to like launch your mobile application i did not integrate any costly third-party solutions for this template so the main goal is anyone who's watching this video if they don't have any budget at all they can still publish their applications at zero cost so now let's just clone this project and then open this project inside your favorite ai code editor you can use either cursor or windsurf or tray ai but my favorite one that i have been using for a while is augment code so i'll be using augment code you can use cursor or windsurf or whatever you want to use do not use any web-based ai code editors i know they allow you to import your github repositories but please just use cursor or windsurf or something like augment code or something like Klein or rue code so these kind of like ai code editors that you can use for this kind of serious project so let's just go ahead and clone this repository and then import it inside any of our favorite ai code editor and then start customizing it a little bit so just go to mobilelabs.capital slash flutter template slash docs so once you're here this is your complete documentation to clone this project to customize this project and then set up any third party services like something like firebase or ai integration or like revenue cat so the first step is cloning this github repository so just copy this url from here you can see this will open in this github repository so just open this github repository or maybe just get this url from here just open it here or just for your ease just run this entire command which is git clone copy this command open any empty folder on your computer so i have this empty folder i'll just right click click on open in terminal and now i'll just paste that command that i just copied press enter and now it will download all of the project files for this project and you can see in this folder you can find this flutter template folder in here so this is our flutter template source code so now the next step is installing the dependencies so you can just run this command which is flutter pub get and then after that you can generate necessary files by just running this command if all of these things are alien to you and you don't want to like deal with running all of these commands so the easiest way is now once you have cloned this github repository now you can just open this github repository inside your ai code editor and now you can just provide this documentation url and then after that you can just ask your ai code editor to like set up everything for you and then any ai code editor will just go ahead and then set up everything for you you don't have to do anything until unless you are required to like create a api key then provide that api key to your ai code editor so if you want you can just like open your favorite ai code editor in my case i have vs code and with vs code i have that augment code installed so I can simply just click on this open folder and now I can just like go to my repository. This is my repository. I'll simply just click on that, click on this select folder and now I'll just open that. So right now you can see I've just opened this project inside VS Code and in here on the right side you can see this is the augment code interface and now the augment code agent has just indexed all of these files and now like try to understand this project now i am actually thinking about something that i should provide you with prompts that you can provide to ai code editors i don't have done that right now but i'll actually do in next phase so if you think that this is a good idea just leave a comment in comment section that if you want me to like create detailed prompts where you just copy those prompts and provide it to your ai code editor so based on our template your ai code editor will now just like with just one prompt should understand everything properly and then from there you can just like start customizing if you want me to do something like that just let me know in comment section or now you can just carry on and follow the documentation and then ask your ai code editor to like set up everything for you so the first step we have completed which is clone repository the second step is install dependencies now to do this step you can just like run this command inside your ai code editor or just ask your ai code editor to like run these commands and set up everything so i can just copy it from here and this documentation link from here and now i can just go to my project i can ask augment code you are inside flutter template i just cloned this template so my prompt is very simple i said that you are inside flutter template i just cloned this template from this github repo then i provided that github repo url then after that here's the documentation url i just provided this documentation url and now i asked it to please set up everything and run this project and later we'll set up the keys and then i just copied this content from here i pasted that in here and then after that i'm just going to press enter and now my ai code editor in this case augment code in your case it can be cursor or windsor for tray will set up everything based on the instructions that we have provided so once it will be done and once we'll be able to run our app 
on our mobile phone or just generate an apk key after that we'll set up everything like setting up firebase setting up open router setting up revenue cat and any other things that are required to set up so right now you can see it has just installed the dependencies and now it has moved to the next step okay so now in just few minutes it has just set up everything it just like installed all of the required dependencies and now our project is running here's a project it is just running this project on localhost so let me just resize this screen so yeah this is how it is looking like so we got our flutter template let me just reload uh, we got our onboarding screen we got ai powered features we got this and then now get started there is this screen resolution issue you can just like take a screenshot ask you to fix this screen resolution issue but other than that it has just fixed everything now we can just like start customizing it the front end side of it but next step is now to set up the api keys so now you can just go back to documentation go to this firebase setup section and inside this firebase section just click on this firebase console it will take you to this firebase console if you have a google account of course you have so if you might need to like sign up for firebase just sign up for firebase using your google account after that you can simply just click on this create a firebase project and just give it a name just click on continue and then after that once your project is created this is how it will look like now you can just go to your project overview section you can just go to the settings tab just go to your project settings and in here you can find this sdk instructions you can simply just click on this it will give you this google services dot json file you just need to download this file just download this file after that you can just like import that file provide that file inside your project right here inside your project there is this android tab inside android tab there is this google dash services dot json file that i added for this project so this file contains all of your firebase configurations you don't need to add any of these keys separately one by one this file just set up everything for you you need to do one more thing inside your authentication section just go to your sign in method and from here just choose google as your sign in method and simple email as well but just choose google and email and password and that's it that's what we need to do from the firebase side the next step is ai integration you can just go to open router.ai and from here just look for quen q w e n and we are using this particular version of quen which is quen 3 235b a double 2 b instruct 2507 just go here and then from here you can just like copy this from here and just you can just create an api key on open router just go to a key section from here just create a new api key and then from here just give it a name copy that api key provide it inside your ai code editor and ask your ai code editor now set up this quen 3 through open router using this api key if you want to know where exactly you can place this api key just go to this lib folder inside lib folder there is config folder inside config folder there is api underscore config dot dart file and in here you can just like provide your open router api key and then, and then you can just customize your model id as well your model id is here on open router page if you just search for quen again quen 3 this one and now you can just like go to this so this is your model id quen slash quen 3 this particular one is your model id or what you can do you can just like go to this api section inside this model this particular model and from here you can just like copy this from here you maybe you can just like choose this one just copy this code from here provide that inside your ai code editor and then ask your ai code editor to set up everything for you using this model id this is the model id the final step is setting up revenue cat you can just go to your revenue cat dashboard just go to app dot revenue slash overview and i just created this new account in revenue cat for this tutorial so you can just create a new project inside revenue cat you can just click on this create new project just give your project a name once it is created once it is created just go to this uh, like whatever your name is and after that you can just go to this api key section in here just create a new api new secret api key just click on that create that api key copy this api key from here and then you can just provide that api key inside this config file which was in under lib slash config slash api underscore config dot dot file or you can just like provide that inside your ai code editor and ask it to set up everything for you so if you just like provide this entire content from this documentation file it will automatically set up everything for you so once everything is ready and now you want to create an apk file for your flutter project we can just like copy this command from here just go to your terminal paste that command in here press enter and now it will create an apk file that can then install inside your android phone if you just like ask your ai code editor as well to create an apk file for you it will just like create your apk file as well but yeah this was how simple and easy it is now you can just like further customize it change colors change screens change whatever functionalities you want 
but yeah this is how easy and simple it is to set up this template so i hope this template will help you to build your next million dollar app idea i really hope that you'll make maximum use of this template because i spent hours and hours on this template so i wish you best of luck i'll keep updating this template to add more features please just let me know in comment section what sort of features do you want me to add inside this template if you have any further questions just leave your comments in comment section i'll see you next video bye bye